Hi guys, do I look so sexy right now? Do I look so sexy for my dates? I'm wearing tinted sunscreen right now, which is not moisturizer. It's not anything very heavy, but you know, then I did the concealer, the contour. So it's my normal makeup routine, but my base is a, a tinted sunscreen from Tower 28. They sent it to me. Also, also, wait, I'm lying a little bit. I wanted a bit more coverage on top of the sunscreen, so then I went in with my e.l.f. Halo Glow, but I like it. Yesterday, I was just wearing the sunscreen, but I realized, like, I like the sunscreen, but it's like... I need a little more oomph to it and the e.l.f. halo glow on the outer parts of my face really helps that so I just put the sunscreen all over my face it's tinted then I put the e.l.f. halo glow on the outer parts of my face then the inner parts I focus on like concealer and stuff like that and I really like the way the routine's working out for me so we're gonna see if this is gonna be my new summer routine but yeah I'm headed to my date thank god it's only 15 minutes away from my house and thank god he texted me and said he was gonna be late and I was like damn because I'm gonna be late and I don't even think I was gonna text that which is bad I know but I was like it was only gonna be five minutes late but I'm like yeah, I'm so glad and he was like thank you so much Nancy, for being so understanding it's just like the way he texts it's such a green flag he seems to text with you know he texts like he has respect for you and I'm like okay like I'm getting my I'm finally getting some respect up in this house some respect please and thank you these men they treat you like I don't know man the preamble I don't <sighs> shit but yeah, we're getting boba. Like I said, we're gonna watch that movie, The Fall Guy. The movie's gonna be two hours. And my friend, it's my friend said it's super funny, which I'm excited about because I love funny movies and I love laughing, and it's two hours. And honestly, I'm just really excited because this is not serious at all for me. And I think I touched upon this in this. I think I touched upon this with you guys. It's okay if I didn't, but I said that I'm just I get really, 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 really emotionally invested. In things and then it actually makes me not want to try it all so it's like oh I'm always I'm almost this close to going on a date with a guy but then I'm like no you know what I'm too invested I'm just thinking about every way it could go wrong and it's like that's not what dating's about it is for some people and that's okay but I don't want that to be for me because it's honestly like really debilitating and I like meeting new guys I really do I mean I want to because I do want a husband in the future so we'll get over it guys I'm here I should I tell him I'm gonna be like I'm here I'm here I'm telling him I'm here but no rush Wait, I'm low-key kind of like nervous because I'm like, what if he like wastes my time? Like that's what I get nervous for with dates. Not like, is he gonna like me? Is he gonna this? No, you're gonna like me. I'm a catch and a half. But what if you're like weird? You know what? Not too much. The last guys I went on dates with probably thought I was a weirdo. So not too fucking much. But you guys, I also just reached Max Karen today because I was waiting for this exact parking spot for like two minutes, two minutes. And the car finally moved and I see this car, this like Audi, about to swerve into this parking spot. And I was like, no, no, I was like beeping. I was like, no, no. And I'm like, he's looking at my face. I was like, no. And then he like backed up. <laughs> I was like, as you fucking should. You men never work for anything. This is my spot. I waited. That was my spot. I took that very, I don't care if that was a Karen thing to do. But you are not going to take my parking spot. You can take my dignity. You can take my freedom, you can take my reproductive rights, but you will not take my parking spot! Anyway, so I'm really excited for him to come. Cause I think we're gonna get like a brown sugar boba. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm really excited. Calling the hose. <laughs> hose pick up. I went on the date. Mm -mm. And it was good. It was like the, it was like no, obviously like no like per, no big personal connection or revelation, but he was a really nice guy. Like he was a nice guy, and I don't think I've ever been on a date with like a nice guy. Obviously not because the other guys were bad, but you know what I mean. Like when you go on, like a nice guy, um, he was pretty sweet the whole entire time. 
um I didn't have to pay for anything and it, it never felt like I had to literally got every single door he kept saying ladies first like things like that he is from Houston no he's from um just Texas he's from Texas and he was he was a nice guy it's good yeah um we were talking about things he likes to be outside i kind of like that like he wanted to go to greece this year but he got promoted so he just had to scrap that trip he said how old is he and what is his occupation he's 27. his occupation he's in sales for okay i don't know what that really means but go him for that he said he was like a court i forgot like his hinge profile said that he was like a something like i don't know his profile said well not his profile um glass said he makes like 97k a year average so <laughs> and okay. now that i know he's promoted i know he's making above 100k so mm. he was like my toxic trades i like to spend money like i will spend money and i'm like okay your toxic trades my cat call because <laughs> i was like okay like spend your money then king like who's stopping you and the movie we saw was so funny like if you ever get a chance to see it it was actually so funny it was with ryan gosling and i feel like the whole movie was in homage to stunt doubles and i really really thought it was funny. like before i went to go see him Mona said it was really funny and i was like okay i'm excited because last time i saw ryan gosling in a movie he had me on the floor so you know what i'm kind of into it like ryan gosling kind of has that character in his movies where he's like the awkward funny guy and i love it i freaking love it but generally it was really great like we went there i waited for him to go inside first and then i was like oh i'm coming we're like ordering boba we like laughed at the right times um he didn't seem put off by me um i would say the only and i just cannot stand people i feel like there's a level of etiquette you have to have in public this this guy's like i'm we walk out of the boba shop we both get boba we walk out and oh my god we like literally all the same things like he was like i'm gonna get the brown sugar boba i'm like oh my god me too like what he like did all the order i mean what else can you really get that's good though jason that is an asian delicacy you can get a lot of boba. They like the taro boba, the Thai tea milk boba. But I feel like the go-to is typically brown sugar. But I do like that you guys had that one thing. But I do think the typical is like brown I've sugar never milk seen cake. anyone in my life get a brown sugar boba before me. Interesting. I thought it was just so common. I guess at like at my school. Though. Okay, whatever. Fuck. Maybe I don't hang no, out with like, Asians. I mean, like in my friend group, like that's what we always order. But I guess like it's different. Like you know, it's always a geographical thing. Pittsburgh versus Boston. So we get the brown sugar boba and then we walk out and this guy's like, oh my God, I'd be seeing your TikToks. And I'm like, oh, like, no, you, no, you, no, I don't even know what I was like, no, no, you don't. <laughs> and that was just so annoying. Like, that is really the first impression that man had of me. That was really, 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 really annoying. Um, yeah, we don't. I just, we didn't even bring it up once. I told him I'm in, like, influencer marketing as my job. But, like, I wouldn't want to go on a second date. I told him that. Like, you know, text me. I was like, I'm really down for that. And, like, everything, like, and, like, he kept encouraging me to get stuff. So, like, we're at the movies. He's like, you sure you don't want any popcorn? And I'm like, mm. Like, maybe for vibes. He's like, yeah, just for the vibes. Because I was like, I don't really, I don't think I've gotten movie popcorn in, like, two years. I genuinely do not care for it at all. I was like, yeah, just for the vibes, okay. Okay. So we get the movie popcorn. And then he was like, do you want anything else? Like, candy, anything? I'm like, no. Any drinks? He's like, no, whatever. Okay. So we go watch the movie. The movie's funny as fuck. Like, it was really funny. It was really interesting. It was a solid plot. Like, we got up. He was like, that was a solid-ass movie. I was like, it was. Oh, no, he didn't even swear. He didn't swear once. The oh, movie was literally so funny, and I really liked that. And then we get up from the movie. He's like, you hungry right now? I was like, you know, I'm not, like, hungry, but, you know, like, when you probably should eat. He was like, yeah. I was like, okay, like, let's go grab something. Well, he was like, let's go grab something. I was like, okay. So he was like, I saw a yard house here. I was like, yeah, let's go to the yard house. So we go to the yard house. 
he orders what I order. Hi guys, welcome back to the vlog. Today is Saturday, i.e. I believe my last day of the vlog. Um, last time you guys saw me, I had gone on a date and I said it went pretty well. I honestly do hope this guy like texts me back, but if he doesn't, I understand. I mean, I honestly don't think there's any reason he wouldn't. Even this morning, he texted me and said like, have a great weekend back to the text i sent last night i was like you know have a great weekend he made sure i made it home safe that was sweet but yeah and currently i'm getting a nice coffee because i need one and this morning i booked a facial because i desperately need one i'm trying to get facials regularly every single time i get a facial my skin just clears up for like a good two weeks and i really need my skin to be fine for these next two weeks or next two weeks next few months and just in general so i'm just i'm budgeting to get facials regularly because they're not cheap i think they're like literally in the 200s but i don't care like if i can spend 200 dollars on like clothes and money then i can like you know subtract the fun from that and put it into my skin and myself and thank god these people are really really sweet like the place i go to i love them so much like anybody who does my facials they're also sweet and it's not often that when i go to a place and I have to have one person, basically what I'm saying, I'm like, I have to have one person to do my shit, you know what I mean? But then there's two people there I really trust, so it's, like, good to have more options, and I'm getting, um, one of the girls, and they're really good about filming, like, all of them, so I can bring you guys to an appointment. I can't always bring y'all in, like, sometimes I go to Target, I don't feel like filming inside, or sometimes I go to these places, I don't feel like having people look at me funny, but some days I'm bold enough to do it, and I don't mind, um, but they're really fine about that so I'll make sure to try to get footage of that of my facial and other than that I'm getting my iced coffee and then I'm gonna go to TJ Maxx and buy something super quick and then I am going to clean the hell out of my room that's where you guys will see me today I've been watching this show called Unprisoned it's like eight it's eight episodes on Hulu it's with Kerry Washington um, Hulu asked me to do a deal for their season two I think I already mentioned that <laughs> So I was catching up on the show, like watching it to see what it's all about, see if this is something that resonates with me. I mean, the minute they said Carrie Washington, I said yes. I was like, it can't be bad. And it's not, it's a comedy. And it's really funny to see Carrie Washington in that setting, like a comedy. I do think she's below the show a little bit, but she's really, you know, if she liked the script and it's funny to her, it is hilarious. I'm not going to lie to you. It gives me like an Abbott Elementary vibe. And they do a good job about bringing worldly issues and like black stereotypes, but in an actual funny, organic way and not forced where it makes you like turn off the TV, you know? Also, can you guys peep that I'm wearing the Brandy sweatshirt that I bought yesterday? Um, anyways, it's been like a great week, actually. I I'm feeling pretty great about this week. So, yeah, coffee, maybe TJ Maxx. It depends if I feel like getting out of the car. But clean my room. That is not a negotiable. I am cleaning the hell out of my room. But I will see you guys later. Goodbye. What? I know. They have a restaurant, I think, in there, a home, like, the list goes on, a spa, yeah. Wait, one second. Auntie, one Auntie, second. Hi, can I please have a medium funny bone iced coffee with cream and sugar? A medium funny bone iced coffee with cream and sugar? Huh, what happened? Coffee. Don't tell me, is that very long? Yes. Yes, it is, so obviously. Um, that's all for today. Thank you. Thank you. Only a soccer ball you do that for. No, but they reposted me on their story the other day. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's I know. Good. I mean, it's not like I'm getting a deal from it. They have like 12K on Instagram, but that was cute. Exposure is cute. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, so I will say we could not have gone to Paris at like literally the worst time ever. Not only was it rainy all week, we left the day of the big music festival everyone came to town for. They were like, yeah, it's the big music festival. I'm like... How now? How was I supposed Why to know this? You, you should have, but you have to see the time. You have to know the time. But you know what? Yeah. To be fair, we did go for a wedding. I totally forgot that. How oh, it's yeah. not like we just like Who up. It. it was like probably like a train wreck of a wedding. But I a will say, your wreck. wedding set bars that none of the weddings have that I've been to. Oh, I feel like nobody wants to spend money anymore. Nobody wants to spend money. <sighs> no, but honestly, I will say this bride probably. I heard that our, our auntie's wedding, I heard that our auntie's birthday party, your mom went to. I don't know if you went to that, but they like pretty much copied the blueprint of my wedding. I definitely did not <laughs> go to that. Was like, uh, that was like auntie's wedding. Yeah, it was a big thing. People can call my mom, grandma, and was telling her that. Please, and it was like two was people. Like, auntie, my wedding's gonna be very small. Floors. 
When they, was they this? They ordered all the chairs. They bought, they bought, I don't know who the wedding planner was, but they went all out. Like, what, like, what they had, like, there's some things that I was supposed to do. That's the funny bone? Yeah. Right? Thank you so much. Is that very loose? Yes. Thank you so, oh, right. <laughs> My card. <laughs> Thank you. You need to be on Instagram. I was like, ah, you know me, I'm like very private and stuff. But don't really do all that stuff. But. Do you know what I hate when they give you a small coffee and hand you a large straw? What is the reason for that? <laughs> I don't understand what the it's point. Right now. Are you doing any other exfoliants or anything like yes. that? Yes, so Dr. Dench first came out with like a BHA and I like kind of just killed that bottle. Like, it was pretty nice. I thought it worked. I thought it was working for my dark spots. Okay. Um, it's like their exfoliant, but it's not the pads. It's like the new one that has like a pump bottle. You Perfect. Like pump cotton, and it's got BHA. Beautiful. Yeah. How and often are you doing that? Every day? Every day, like day, like, like, like twice a day. Okay. So that's gonna be once a day, oh, and really? retinol is gonna be every other. Okay. Because what happens is we can over exfoliate our skin, and that's just gonna make all of it worse. Unfortunately. Oh, okay. I don't know, I just like will do anything to literally like help get rid of my acne. I think like I really want to start by like doing facials like monthly. Mm -hmm. If I had the money, I would do it every two weeks. So like oh, one day, one no, day. Seriously. Do it at night. Okay, do the exfoliant at night. Okay. And then if it's an exfoliant night, obviously don't do retinol. And okay. then if it's a retinol night, oh, don't, don't do, do retinol? Mm -hmm. What? Wait, so don't use retinol when you do exfoliate? Oh my mm -hmm. god, this is so interesting. Exfoliate. All of your exfoliating products, keep those at night. Um, because they can make your skin sun sensitive. Okay. Sun sensitivity obviously will lead to easier dark spots. Mm -hmm. Things okay. of that nature. What do you mm -hmm. like my forehead? Like I can never get rid of the textured skin mm -hmm. or like the dark spots. Well, I think you cutting back on your exfoliation is gonna help. Okay, perfect. Um, when you wash your face and then pat your face dry, what are you using to pat your face dry? Honestly, a towel, but I could just sometimes I like will we'll reuse a towel. That's on me. That's on me. Get those I clean think. skin club towels. Have Which, you seen those? Yeah, let me like write that down. Yep, first. I'll they're phenomenal. For me, so, are they reusable or they're just like throw right? away? Okay. Use once and then toss. Oh, I've heard of those. Okay, I I think this is my side to get because I've been thinking about it a lot. Yep, they uh, work wonders. Oh wow, I'm like, the, the light is literally beaming on my skin. It looks so good. And you use like the hyaluronic? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Everything looks, looks, looks so good. New skin, who this? <laughs> New skin, who this? Focus on my face, not my eyes. Focus. Wait, she gave me a whole routine to do. I have problem areas on my forehead. I feel like really good. I feel like I look really good. Like no filter, no face. New skin, who this? Uh, I've been staring at myself for like 30 minutes. I'm not even joking. I feel really good about life. Don't play with it, don't play with it.